Um, and Jalen Williams has been such a, a great story from all of this. Uh, his ceiling looks like what, Lou or Chandler? It's high. It's high. He's he's emerged as the second best player on his Crazy. team. And that's, that makes this team dangerous because on any given night, he can be the best player on the floor or he can be the third option. These guys, they have so many inter interchanging parts that makes them so dangerous. But he's emerged as a young, young rising star, man. I'm really enjoying watching him play. Yeah, we're looking at an all-NBA talent, multiple all-stars, and he's gonna, he's gonna be both of those next year. And we're gonna talk about this team. Not if Jamal Murray's not in first. They're not. I'm uh, protesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're not going anywhere, right? They have the most assets, no. the most picks, the best, youngest team. So they're going to be the number one seed probably get again better. next year. Jalen Williams, which means they're going to get two All Stars, and it's going to be him and Jamal, or uh, him and SGA. So it's crazy the growth that he's had so quickly. It's, it's they are fun. I agree with Lou on that. Um, here they are with the local reporter Nick Gallo team. Youngest number one seed in NBA history. You come away with four straight wins here in this series. How does this feel for this group right now? It feels good. We got more. All right, congratulations, guys. Good luck. <laughs> every, every single post game. So much so that the other day, I think they blew off Allie LaForce to they go and do that TNT first. To go and then it. come back. I was like, that's amazing. But look, the, the passing of the baton, sometimes you forget as it happens. It's not so clear. But th this is great. This baton is not getting passed. What are you talking about? This is a robbery. Oh, that <laughs> 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 this is a robbery. These young guys are taking it. Oh, you look at Anthony Edwards. You look at Shea Gilgis Alexander. They're not asking anybody for permission to proceed. These guys are kicking the door in. They're saying this is a change in other guards. We are the guys now. It's us now. And you know what's crazy? Like, this is the first time in 20 years, no LeBron, Steph, and Katie in the second round and it's like because of this new wave SGA yep. and Luca who cares like the bat like the NBA is in great hands and these and the Thunder <clears throat> are a huge part of it where they're just elite and like you see the interview they're having fun it's an Ten. AAU team where they're just taking the show on the road they're going to yeah. plus in everyone's they ass 10 guys in the first quarter last it's unbelievable it's amazing it doesn't matter whoever's playing well contributing on the defensive end usually it gets that fifth spot too it could be Wallace some nights it could be Isaiah Joe some nights it could be Wiggins some nights it doesn't matter they are so deep and I guarantee you these kids they all want to be back here next year that's my only problem with Jalen Williams he can get so good and such a star where he wants to go somewhere and be the number one option because he's that good and I hope it doesn't happen I hope it doesn't happen. grass ain't greener man stay locked there no keep your ass right there don't, don't leave this, this and they're going you're a max player they're going to give you everything and they're still going to add pieces like this is crazy to me that they're not done yeah I mean Chet Holmgren when I spoke to him about a month ago I mean that's the thing he spoke he spoke to is like all of them being so secure within themselves and, and there's not any jealousies, no egos. Like he said, you know, he talks to other people around the league and that's not how it is. And you <laughs> see them after games. I mean, it's always like five, six of them with each other in these interviews. And why did they leave that, that TNT interview? Because they weren't with each other. And then Amazing. they went and, and went to their teammates. So um, this is a one-on-one -on -one situation, obviously a historic team. First the youngest team of all time to make it to the one seed to sweep. So they're, every single milestone is, is something different, something new for them. And yes, Michelle, they have so every pick to trade. God. They have a it's bunch also, of assets. It's also too, just, much. It's too not, much. It's too It's hard not to cheer for them because it just happened organically. Like this is That's this is through the draft. Blueprint. This was through, you know I mean this wasn't powering up, squatting up, making a, a super team. This wasn't through free. Like but you had this, to be patient. You had to be so. They were patient. they were patient, but like this is just we just watched this them grow up right before our eyes and this is blossom. It's unbelievable. Like to a watch. lima bean plant. This is the Let's, second time Sam Presti's had this similar situation, right? He had it. Um, about a decade plus ago, and now he has it again. Let's shine a light on Oklahoma City. I, I know you like to talk trash about small markets, but Ooh. I think because of that small market, it's not a lot to do. These yeah, guys are bonding sure. with each other. They're connecting with each other, and I think that's gone a long way for them being in this market. It reminds me of <clears throat> when I played for the Toronto Raptors. When you're across their border, you feel like you're the only team. You feel, you feel isolated a little bit, and we were such a tight group. And it, it paid dividends until we got swept in the playoffs. That's neither here nor there. But <laughs> completely this, different situation. <laughs> <laughs> completely different situation. Totally. But this OK, this Oklahoma City team, they remind me of that. But this also shows you that that OKC can be a destination just because of their production on the 100%. court. Like that, it looks that looks fun. It looks fun to me. You know what I mean? Want to be like best people be will there. want to go and play on that That's team why. for that coach. So it doesn't matter how small your city is if you're playing like this and having this mm -hmm. much fun winning. And you have the futures bright? Chandler, but Chandler. I, well, he's now lying. You know he you wouldn't go. sign in Oklahoma City in free agency. I, I think Chandler might. I, I, I think, I I mean, think a prime him. Chandler. This Chandler? 
It must be two well, channels. Well, I don't know about this channel, but this channel is Parsons. It must be two channels. If the money's right, I think Chandler would sign it. Money's right, I can be bought. big CD boy right But when you said the thing about OKC coming in and getting Bronny, and I was like, you know, if I'm Bronny, Maybe I don't want to play with my dad necessarily. Like, this would be fun as a young person to go and play with these guys. But I will say this. What a pro wants, that commercial needs to go away now. It's, uh, it's driving all of us <laughs> mad uh, in our home. So let me ask you this. Clippers or Mavericks, Chandler, for this particular OKC team, what's the better matchup? The, oof, the better matchup for them would be the Clippers, I think. I think that the, hmm. the, the, that duo, especially with the uncertainty of Kawhi Leonard, I know we're talking about how they're playing better right now with him out, and they're not deferring to him. But I, I think with Luka and Kyrie can really present challenges for them defensively. That means SGA and Jalen Williams are both going to have to guard those guys, and they're going to have to work on both ends like they never have before tired, for possibly yeah. seven games. Um, but, yeah, they get to sit back and relax, though, and get a couple days here because it's only 2-2. I know. They're young. They don't even need this kind of rest. Yeah, they're ready right now. They what? wish the game was tomorrow. <laughs> What a bonus. Who do you think they should face? If they want to win, mm -hmm. they should play the Mavericks. There he is. All right. <laughs> make sure we had uh, both if they, sides. If they want to play the Mavericks, <laughs> very much like Oklahoma City, the Clippers got a deep bench. So when they started subbing eight, nine guys, the Clippers can do the same thing. So I think it's going to come down to supporting cast again. When you got your main guys, they're going to be the main guys, the James Hardens, the Paul Georges, the SGAs, the Chets, the Jalen Williams. They're going to do their thing. Mm -hmm. This is going to come down to who you, can, who you can trust going to your bench in those top of the second quarter, top of the fourth quarter with those pivotal moments during the games. If the Clippers beat the Mavericks, they'll lose to the Thunder. If the Mavericks beat the wow. Clippers, they'll beat the Thunder. Things we'll never be able to prove. How interesting. You gotta stick to your you gotta stick to your guns. That's all. I just hear Chandler sticking to his guns. You're right. <laughs> You're both on brand. And then they'll both lose the nuggets, so it won't matter anyway. <laughs> I was but. gonna say it's all just for fun anyway. Yeah. But